Hello church, my name is Justin and I go to Central Cam Campus um, and I'd love to chat to you guys about uh, the miracle I'm believing for and the miracles that I've seen. Um, a really, a really quick one happened to me when I was uh, a lot younger. Uh, I'm still at school, I was struggling to read and write, I was severely dyslexic. Uh, that got di diagnosed at, at, at primary school, luckily it got caught, got support. Um, but I was at the point where I, I was at secondary school, couldn't read. Uh, was really struggling to write, was really struggling to, to communicate. Um, and, uh, and back in the day, we, uh, we did what's called like a prayer river where everybody's walking around in a circle and you've got guys at one point of the circle laying hands and praying for people and believing for healing. And um, yeah, that, that night was incredible. Um, I, was, I was just coming up to doing my GCSEs uh, and something happened. Something massively changed in me at that point. Um, whether it was related to confidence, whether it was related to um, the, the innermost parts of me um, being, being touched by the Holy Spirit and then actually being able to read, actually being able to make notes that people could understand. Um, and yeah, that's, that's been a, an, incredible, an incredible journey to have come from a place of not being able to do something. God meeting me, God, God being invited, come and help me in this Lord. And then actually going on to get an A or B and six C's in my GCSEs and all that kind of life that's gone on from there and I can I can read now I can I can prove I can read now and um it, it's it's amazing what the the bible the bible says um that he 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 is he is our healer time time and time and time again um he is our he is our healer um and and I've seen that so I've seen that with my dyslexia in in the past whizzing forward 20 odd years to where I am right now um, I'm still in faith again. I've got some pretty crazy health complications at the moment. Um, they thought it was cancer initially and thank God it's not. Um, and we believe for people that have, have got that and are bat fighting that battle. Um, my battle is, is that we just we just don't know what the, the problem is. They've got me on lots of funky painkillers and uh, lots of interesting um, other things that are trying to stop what's what's happening in my body. But I'm still in faith because he is still my healer. His, his word will, will complete all that it's sent out to do. And I am not destined to live in pain and in suffering. And I'm not destined to live with my dyslexia. That, 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 God has proved that back in the day. God has met me there. God has changed my life there. And he will do it again. If you're sat right now, if you're on your way to work, whatever you're doing, I believe that he is our healer. He heals today. He's healed us in the past. He will heal us tomorrow. He, we can continually go to him in prayer with our needs and, and cry out for healing and believe for healing. Right now, I'm in the middle of it. Right now, the doctor's reports aren't good. Right now, the physical signs aren't good, but I am still believing that he will heal me. I am still in faith that my God is more than enough. My God will conquer. My, my faith is continually when my body hurts and I can't do the things that I want to do. I cannot, I feel like I'm missing out and I feel like I'm having to sit down and take it steady and take it slow when that's not what God has for me and that's not what God has for you is to live in that place, to be able to be in this situation that I'm in and to be able to live here and and call it a successful sickness um, would be to stay in faith and continue to believe. Father God, I bring all of audacious people to you right now and anybody else watching this devotional and we thank you that you are our healer. You took apart, you, you, you took our um, iniquity, sin and shame on the cross. You've taken You've taken that all from us. Right now, Jesus, we bring the things that are inside us, the things that hurt us, our, our health and our sicknesses, our mental, our mental health, and we lay it at the foot of your cross. As you've said, it is finished. We say that over our sickness and the things that are holding us down. And we thank you, Jesus, that you will heal us you will come through in all the different ways that you 
do for us. Jesus, we love you. It is an honour to serve you. Thank you for what you're about to do in us and in our nations and in our families. Hey, Church, have a great day.